Alrighty guys, it's your boy here, guy that does video, and today we're gonna be showing, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to make the, <laughs> like, effect in Premiere Pro, which is what I've been using to make all of my videos pretty much. You probably already saw the last video that I made if you're watching this, it's the effect, so go watch that, link will be in the description. Um, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to find the raw footage, so... That's what I mean by raw footage, so go find that. Alright, so next we're going to need, like, the picture that you're going to do it with. I'm just going to use this. This is just some random fan art. First thing we're going to do, want to do is we're recreating this. So, we're going to need to map out where the effect takes place and where it, like, starts and ends. So, so what I mean by this is find the frame that it starts. For me, it's right here. So you're going to start the overlap there. And then we're going to find the frame that it ends. So the second that, that the effect is gone up here, I, ho I hope that makes sense. That's where we're going to end it. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, there you go. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to duplicate this and put it on top. Now we want to uh, remove this one out of the way, just move it out of the way for now. So now we have a duplicated one. So what we're going to want to do here is go over to the effects and type in crop. Drag that onto the clip. Now we're going to want to um, make sure that it starts and uh, the size is the same as when it starts here so as you can see the size is really small we're gonna make it in the middle because i think it looks cleaner when it's in the middle go over to here and then click the circle on crop now just mess around with this until you get it to around the same size it doesn't have to be perfect but just make sure it's somewhere in the middle area so now we're going to go ahead and click the invert button and remove everything so as you can see now we just have this little ball of it left now, this is the thing we're going to use, Mask Expansion. That's how you make the effect of it going in and out. So, I'm going to click that stopwatch and find where it completely covers the screen. So, as you can see, it doesn't quite right there. That's the frame that it covers. So, drag this back, and we're going to make the Mask Expansion all the way just barely to the edge. Just like that. So, now, as you can see, there you go. Now, we have this cool effect where it opens up. Now we're going to go do the exact same thing to the to the this side. So the frame that it starts to come in, I'm going to cut it just so I know where it is. And it ends right at the end. We already figured that out. So, now at the very end, we're going to click this to add another keyframe. And then set this to, we're just going to do negative 50. That should be gone. <laughs> All right, so step three, we're going to need a effect called lens distortion. This is going to make the really cool pinch effect. So what you're going to want to start off with is just, as you can see, if we go to curvature, you can see what it, exactly it does here. Not really going to be able to tell. So um, you're going to want to copy all the steps that you do onto this into the original file here. So for now, go ahead and drag in that to this one as well, the, the original one. As you can see, it makes this really cool pinch effect and that's what that's the the pitch so start the curve and then when it gets to uh around and it opens up and that's just mark them with cuts that's usually what i just do so now at the very end of this negative 100 sorry negative 100 and that's i think the furthest it goes and then we want it to go all the way until right at the end here right before this area around the equal distance we actually need to copy this and paste it in so now we have two of them so now i'll go a little bit more we're going to want to change this one to all the way down to the end and then right here we're going to make it start to recede so right about there i hope this makes sense so we're going to put in stopwatches there and there and then here this one's going to recede and then all the way at the end that one's going to recede so as you can see, it pinches back out. And then a cool effect that I like to do, so increase that and go over to this clip and you can get rid of 
one of the lens distortions, but you want to keep one. Put a stopwatch at zero, and we're going to pinch it out a bit, and then make it come back in. And what I mean by that is we're going to pinch it inwards, like this, and make the scale a bit bigger, and then go forward a couple frames, then reset it, and reset the scale. <laughs> So, now with all of that in mind, we need to copy all of this and put it up there. So, take this, copy, just control V to paste. Um, we actually have two of these, so I'll just get rid of that one. And then copy uh, this one as well, and paste that in. So now we have two. You're not really going to see it. Now, here's where we have the actual effect. We want to type in invert, and it's going to be under channel. Drag that on, and here is how you make it that so as you can see and that's what we that's what we have so far so with that in mind we now need to go over and look at color balance HLS drag that into the end clip here and change the saturation all the way down or not like why did I change like saturation to negative 100 there we go just like that and Place the stopwatch and then towards the end of it, add a keyframe and reset the saturation. So that's that part. Now we need to drag this on to this one, this one up here. So as you have so many effects, it'll start to, you know, not look the best. So what I like to do is I select the stopwatch for hue and then right here where this part is, set it to 50 and then all the way here where it recedes back, set it to 250 and then. 300 and there you go that's pretty much most of the effects you can add a couple more things if you want it to look a bit better like this one effect that is a preset that i have downloaded called ultimate shake um just look it up on google and you can find it so i like to add that and that's the finished product so we're going to go ahead and take a look at what it looks like So I hope you've learned something after an absolute failure of a video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and like and share and comment. Do all that random stuff that other YouTubers tell you to do. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.